Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about my hands down, cannot live without favorite makeup products. This is anything from eyebrows, foundation, concealer, lips, mascara, eyeliner, bronzer, blush, I mean the whole nine. And I have one of each of these products that I have picked from every single category except for one. I did pick two concealers because I could not pick a favorite between the two um, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. But without further ado, let's jump in and let's get started talking about makeup. So I just got done filming my favorite hair care products. So after filming that, I decided why not film my favorite beauty products, my favorite makeup, and just kind of chit chat about that. I have a very good balance and these are all, I've picked out one product for each category except for concealer. Concealer, I have two because I just couldn't pick. I kind of alternate between the two and I'll tell you why when we get to them. So let's get started. First off, I thought I would talk about my primer. My favorite primer, and it's the only one that I have been using lately. This is the Pixi um, Vitamin Wake Up Mist. This one is so good. I got this at Target. Um, I'm sure you can buy it other places. That's the only place I've found it because that's the only place I've looked for it at. But this right here is so good and it smells so nice on the skin and it is so hydrating, so, so hydrating. So if you have really dry skin, this is something that you definitely need to try. I even use this as a setting spray sometimes, um, but usually I will just use it as a primer and use my other product as my setting spray, which I do have in the video. So next off, going to my eyebrows. Lately, my favorite thing to do my eyebrows with, and it's actually what I have used today to fill them in, is this Colab. This is a newer brand at Sally Beauty. This one is pretty affordable. It's like, I think around $10 is what it is, but it is so nice. It has a very precise retractable end on one side and then your other side, obviously, you get this spoolie. Mine is super dirty because I use it all the time. But this one right here is one of the best ones that I have used so far, honestly. This one is really good. Next up for concealer, I have two. This one is the Tarte Shape Tape. This one is super full coverage. It is super blendable and it is so, so nice. And it goes with so many different foundations that the formulas just mesh together so, so well. Tarte did a very good job when they made this formula and it is just amazing. My next favorite concealer is the NARS Creamy, or the Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one right here is so good. This is actually the one that I'm wearing today and it holds up so nice on the skin. It holds up so, so, so well. This one is so good. I go back and forth between those so much and I can't really pick my absolute favorite. They have different formulas. This one blends a lot better and a little bit goes a long way, but this one is just so nice on the skin and it has more of a kind of whipped texture, but it's nothing too heavy. It's a very kind of lightweight concealer on the skin. They're both very nice. Now, after that, I have my eyeshadow palette, my go-to eyeshadow palette that has all of my favorite colors in it. And it is just one that you can create so many different looks with. You can do a simple look, you can do a bold look, you can do anything in between. This is the Jaclyn Hill collaboration with Morphe palette. This one is what it looks like. All of these shades. You get 35 different shades in this palette. And it's like $38. So this is a really freaking good deal. And you have really good size pans. You have so many different options to do so many different looks with this. And this one is just a must have. This is my go-to eyeshadow palette for every single look I do. Okay, next up is my favorite foundation. This one is $28. It is so good. I consider it a high-end foundation because $28 is a lot for a little one ounce bottle, but it works so nice. It is a full coverage. It is technically a two-in-one concealer and foundation, but I use concealer with it also. This guy right here is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Mine is in the shade Alabaster. 
this one is so 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 nice you can get this so many different places i typically get mine at ulta um like i said 28 bucks but for a really good foundation that is awesome because i have paid like 60 some odd dollars for foundation before and i like this one better that is you know half the price so this one is my favorite and especially for dry skin it makes me look so radiant and so creamy all throughout the day it is amazing okay Next is my translucent setting powder for $6, the Maybelline Fit Me. This one is in the shade 05 Fair. You get so much product here for like $5.94. You cannot beat that. And this guy works so, so good. And it is just so flawless looking on the skin. It covers all those pores. It fills in everything. And it just sets your makeup just so gorgeously. And for that price, save your money. Don't spend $40, spend six and get this guy right here. It is awesome. It will not disappoint. Now I'm going to go in, let's do, let's do contour. My contour, this is the only contour that I ever use. I have some that is like creamy contour and it comes in palettes and they come in this, they come in that. I have so many of those and I never use them. I've tried them and I don't like them. Nothing compares to this one. This one is the NYX Wonder Stick. You have your contour on one side. And you have your highlight on the other. I can't remember the exact price of this one, but it is so affordable. All of your NYX products are going to be so affordable and such good quality. This one is definitely something if you're wanting to contour. And it's so easy to work with because you literally roll it out, put it on your face where you want it, and then just blend it in and you're done. This right here is just the best. This one is just takes the cake for contour. This one is the one to go with. Next up, my bronzer. Actually, I'm going to talk about my bronzer and my blush together because they're by the same brand and they're kind of in the same category, I guess you'd call it. They are both in the Butter collection from Physicians Formula. You have the Butter Blush and then you have the Butter Bronzer. Mine is in the shade Natural Glow with the blush and in the shade Light Bronzer for this guy. These smell so good. They're very light on the skin. It's nothing too, too crazy pigmented that it's going to take you forever to blend out. Um, they are buildable. So a little bit, you know, just keep adding to it and you'll get to that shade that you want. But these right here, I want to say they're like around $12 each, something like that. But I have not been disappointed with these products yet. Everything I have tried from Physicians Formula has just not failed me. They are just amazing. It's a little bit more expensive than some of your other drugstore items, but the quality of it is so, so, so good. It's definitely something that I will recommend time and time and time again. I will be repurchasing these once I run out. Absolutely. Now, moving on, I'm going to talk about my highlighter. This one is from the drugstore. This is my go-to highlighter. I think it's actually, yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. I did a very kind of just little subtle highlight here. This one is from L'Oreal Paris. I have, I know I've used this in videos. And I really like this guy. It was very affordable compared to some of the other highlighters that I have bought. This one is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator. That's what this one is. I have been using this for like six months now. I have been using this one. And I can definitely tell that it's starting to get kind of wore out. But that's what it looks like. I'm going to try to swatch this for you and see if you can tell. Yes how much that glows. That is amazing. Now I'm going to see if it shows up on the back of my hand. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. It's nothing crazy, but it's definitely one of those buildable highlighters um, that if you just layer it up a couple of times, it has that beautiful glow. It really, really does. And this one it's just awesome. It's just awesome. That's all I can say about it. It's good. It is. <laughs> Now I'm going to go on with my setting spray. My favorite setting spray, and this I think is like everyone's favorite setting spray too. This one is the MAC Fix Plus. This is my second bottle. I have one here and I'm like, 
almost completely out of it but this stuff is so good i've even primed my face with this before i have just wore this over my face with no other makeup before i always 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 set my face with this this one is so good and they just came back out with the scented ones they have like coconut and like rose water and a couple of different other ones and i'm really thinking about purchasing some of those to try as well but the original formula is just tried and true. I love it. It is so, so good. It really is. And if you have not tried this, you definitely need to go pick you up a bottle. It is like $27. I think it is a little bit more on the expensive side for a setting spray, but it works. It really does. And it does make your makeup last all day. And it just looks so much more flawless on the skin and just such a natural finish when you do this. Like if you're dry skin and you use a setting powder or if you use some powders on your face and you start to look a little dusty, spray this over your face, kind of let it set in and you have that natural glow look by the time that it's all just dried down and just ready to go. It looks beautiful. Okay, next up is my mascara. This one is another more expensive mascara, but this is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. That's what it looks like. Let me show you the bristles in here. It has more of like a silicone-y kind of bristle. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, it's not more of a fluffy brush. It is kind of one of the more kind of pokey, stiff bristles. This one is so nice. You can't even see my eyelashes today, but that's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my glasses today so I can see all these products and kind of see some of my notes that I jot down. But I do apologize for the glare. I know that my light's over here are just kind of like beaming in on me and you can really see the glare of my glasses but um I need them to see I'm sorry <laughs> but this one is my favorite mascara it works so so well it doesn't um it's not too heavy on the eyelashes and it's nothing that is going to um transfer onto your lid or run off or anything like that it stays on very very well but when you want it to come off it does come right off it doesn't give you any problems okay my last product that I'm using that I'm going to talk about that I use as my favorite lip product. This is my liquid lipstick from Bare Minerals. I got this one at Ulta and I'm not showing this one because this is my favorite shade or anything. I just thought that I would pick one up to show you my favorite brand of the liquid lips. This one is the Bare Minerals. This one is the shade Hemp in case you're wondering if you like this one. I did do a video using this color on my lip and it was very gorgeous. It is a very nude color. I'll show you what the brush looks like. It's just a very nice brush. It's super easy to work on with. It is a very creamy formula that spreads so nice on the lips. It's nothing that is going to be too clumpy, be too thick, be too pigmented, nothing like that. It just goes on nicely and it spreads just flawlessly on your lips. It really does. Um, oh, I have one more product. Yes, my eyeliner. My favorite eyeliner that I have been using lately is from the drugstore. It is wet and wild and it was two dollars. <laughs> this is it right here. This is the wet and wild mega liner and it just kind of unscrews here and this is what your little brush looks like. Perfect for wings. It is so so nice and this guy right here does not run. It does not go anywhere. When you put it on it's there to stay and it it doesn't come off very easy like some that I have used before but it does look very very nice on the skin it is a very good eyeliner and for two bucks I mean come on you can't beat that you can't but that is it thank you all so so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed just kind of sitting here with me and chit-chatting about some of my favorite favorite makeup um, definitely if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. I will catch you all in my next one. Bye everyone.